Hi, my name is Tamer Zaman from One Million Acts of Innovation. Uh, you know, one of the things that we see CFDC managers across the country dealing with is, is a word that I'm not sure a lot of them use, but it's a word around culture. How do I change the culture? It could be things like uh, social media is disrupting the way small businesses are, are operating, and the CFTC manager needs to sell the idea of social media to the board, and they want to see a change in the culture of the board and how they adopt new technology. Uh, I'm just bringing the board as an example. It could be things like there's a new government policy that's come on board, or there's a particular project the CFTC manager wants to do, and there's a community of stakeholders, uh, regional economic development managers, town hall councils that they need to engage around that idea. And what you're really looking for is to do something called cultural change. Uh, we've got a three-step process that <clears throat> we've, sound, uh, we've seen to be very effective in doing cultural change at various CFDCs uh, that I want to share with you. Uh, the first step of doing any kind of cultural change is a step called listening. Listening to that target audience, uh, listening to their emotional concerns, listening to their logical concerns. So the ability to map out emotional concerns, logical uh, concerns, is a really uh, important part in being able to engage that particular audience, the target audience that you want to target. Um, that can be done in a number of ways. It would, could be done in terms of uh, we're going to have a town hall meeting and I want to take five minutes to give you an idea and get your feedback, as an example. So there are multiple ways of finding out uh, what are the concerns of the target community that you're trying to engage. Uh, the second step is a step called uh, change the messenger. Uh, you know, one of my previous employers uh, once told me that sometimes a human being needs to hear the same message 22 times from 22 different people for that message to sink in. So let me say this again. Sometimes human beings need to hear the same message 22 different times from 22 different people for that message to sink in. So in terms of the ideas that you want to incorporate with you know, the community that you want to engage in, uh, you know, who are some speakers that you can bring in who, who share your vision? And you can get them to share that message to that audience. Uh, to kind of line up some of the, uh, your advocates and getting them engaged into your board meetings, town hall meetings, or your, you know, however way you engage with a target audience uh, is, I think, important. It will certainly speed up uh, getting results uh, and getting things done. Uh, step number three is uh, what we do is we put people into groups of three. Uh, you know, can we take you know some of our advocates <clears throat> and get them connected on a social setting with some of the folks that you know haven't bought into the idea fully yet, and getting them to, in a social way. Uh, have some series of conversations around a particular topic uh, we find is really important. Uh, oftentimes people will have some uh, unanswered questions that's a little bit unconscious for them and in a social setting uh, just because the setting and the environment is different it creates the room for these uh, unanswered questions that are you know kind of like sometimes even unconscious to come up uh, and get answered. So the three-step process is listen, and then put the put this uh, what you're listening for are what are the emotional concerns, and what you're listening for is what are the logical concerns. Listing them is really important before you want to do the let me present my idea kind of thing in a more formal way. The second step is you know can you bring in some advocates who who can come in and take that message that you've put together and repeat it in their language and in their way. And the third step in doing cultural change is can you take the people that have been bought, been bought into it with people who have bought into it and put them into mini groups into social settings. My name is Tamer Zaman from One Million Acts of Innovation. I hope you found this video helpful.